In this example, we're doing an urban rehab project where we have surveyed back of curbs left and right. And the main thing we want to accomplish with our template is to rebuild a new crown in the roadway. And we want the crown point to be at the center line between the two crown points. And the difficulty comes in because these um, curbs on the left and right are going to be varying both in the horizontal and in the vertical. So the first thought on how to keep this point in the center line is to simply add a slope slope constraint um, to the edge of pavement there. If we maintain that slope number one from that one and we maintain the same slope from the other, since we're maintaining the same slopes it's always going to be at the center line. Um, so as we move our point in in the horizontal we can see that the, that the point does stay at the center horizontally, but we can see that if we move our point up in the vertical we have a problem where our point no longer falls in the center line. So we can't simply do a slope-slope constraint on that point. So I'm going to delete both constraints. So the solution to this point to maintain a center line point no matter what our back of curves do in the horizontal and vertical is to um, create some null points up here that'll set, that'll stay at a constant elevation and then do a slope-slope constraint off of those. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a new component null point and I'm going to place it up above my surveyed back of curb. I'm going to do the same thing for my other one and then I'm going to create a point for my new center line. Add new component and null point. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to constrain these two um, outside curb points to the back of curves. To do that I'm going to right click, I'm going to edit point, and I'm going to constrain those horizontally to my back of curb point and hit apply. And I want to keep them on the same elevation. I'm going to keep those a foot above the curb. So just on my right point here I'm going to create a vertical constraint to that back of curb. It's going to be a foot up there and hit apply. On my other point on the left side um, I'm going to again constrain it horizontally to the back of curb. And vertically, I'm going to keep it on the same level as my point on the right side. So, constraint number two is going to be a vertical constraint to my point on the right side. And it's going to be zero. So, no matter what happens um, with the horizontal and vertical, these two back of curves, I'm going to have two points up here um, that are at equal elevations to each other but horizontally falling in the back of curves. And that enables me on my center line point here um, to add a slope-slope constraint. Now um, it'll be a slope from the null point number one and a slope from the null point number two. And as long as I maintain the same slope, it really doesn't matter what the slope is. As long as I maintain the same slope, I'm going to make that one percent. And I can see now that that is fully constrained slope to that one and slope to that one. And since those are going to be on the same level vertically, this is always going to be the midpoint. So I can test this by, again, moving my back of curve point. And I can see that my null points are staying at the midpoint. So the last thing I need to do is constrain my center line point. Um, again, horizontally, it's going to follow the midpoint. at a value of zero. That point was unnamed. So when I move point now, I can see that um, my crown is always going to be at the exact center of my back of curves. So then the last decision I have to make as a designer is uh, how am I going to control this point vertically. Um, there's a lot of, there's actually a lot of different options you can use. Some um, municipalities will choose to set it equal to the higher of these two points and in that case I could use a horizontal or I'm sorry a vertical maximum constraint and set my two parent points as a back of curb one and back of curb two. Um, some municipalities will choose to do a vector offset from back of curb to the other back of curb so it'll fall on the vector um, from whatever vector from this back of curb to the other. So if we move our point, 
we'll see that uh, horizontally it's staying at the midpoint of those two and vertically it's maintaining um, it's staying on the vector from our back of curve to the other so we're maintaining a new crown at the center and we're staying at the level of the back of curves and that kind of ensures some drainage um, in most cases